everyone. So after my drugstore theme series I did in January, so many of you guys requested a whole luxury related video. This video is my top 10 luxury favorites. We have a bit of fashion, a bit of beauty, a bit of jewelry, even some home bits in here as well. And also this video is in collaboration with my lovely friend Ray. She has a channel on YouTube called The Ray Viewer. It's one of my favorites, especially when I want to know her opinion on luxury things. She goes into such amazing detail when she She's reviewing products and she has a great blog as well with awesome pictures and awesome awesome reviews every time I'm like thinking about buying something that's like a new collection or something that's like quite pricey I always look up and I see if Ray likes it or not I'll leave her channel link below she's also doing her top 10 luxury favorites so I'll leave that video link below as well so make sure you guys go on over and subscribe to her but I'm gonna start everything off I think with a product that I talk about a lot. And this is the By Terry Terribly Danceless Foundation. I've loved this for over a year now. It's my go-to foundation when I want flawless looking skin, especially in photographs. It seems to blur over all pores and imperfections. It leaves a really velvety, smooth finish to the skin. It blends in so seamlessly. It's definitely the most blendable foundation I own. It is one for combination to oily skins. If you're on the more drier side, I think you might find this a bit too cakey. It's like my go-to foundation when I'm having a poopy skin day and I'm like, I just wanna feel like I have nice skin again. And this just kind of like helps fake that. When it comes to beauty products, I normally go more towards the luxury side when it comes to skin and perfume affecting skin and that kind of thing. When it comes to like eyeshadows and blushes and that kind of stuff, that's where I go more towards drugstore. But one of my all time favorite concealers is the Clé de Peau Concealer. I've had this for so, so long and I don't seem to be going out of it anytime soon. It's the most creamy high coverage concealer I've ever, ever tried. It can cover absolutely anything without making it look like it's covering it. Like without making it look like you've got concealer on, it will cover that redness or that spot or that under eye bag and it was definitely one when I ever get spots this is definitely the one that I'm like gimme and put it on my spot I love that it comes in stick form as well because it makes it super easy to use you just like swipe 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 blend 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 guys luxury lipsticks is such a hard one to choose because I am a lipstick addict like I just love lipsticks so so much I love the packaging I love playing around with my lip color I don't know lipsticks like my favorite favorite bit of makeup if you're gonna buy a luxury lipstick these are the ones that I wanted to put in and they're the Tom Ford lipsticks but not only are they Tom Ford lipsticks they're Tom Ford mini lipsticks that's right they are the size of my pinky finger like does it get cuter than that I don't think so these are the Tom Ford lips and boys lipsticks they have so many shades in the range you'll definitely manage to find one for you and I think they're a great handbag size and they just look so darn beautiful. They just take the words out of my mouth. Like they made me speechless. That's how cute and adorable they are. And they're just such a luxury beauty product as well. They're really creamy, really hydrating. The pigmentation goes on evenly. I would say my favorite formula of lipstick is the YSL lipsticks, the sheer rouge ones. But in terms of like packaging and just general cuteness, Tom Ford wins. I was picking out my makeup luxury favorites and like half the stuff was Charlotte Tilbury. And I was like, might as well just do a Charlotte Tilbury what I love video. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I actually have done a post of my top five Charlotte Tilbury picks, which I'll link below. But I think my favorite of everything, excluding the lip liner, which you guys know I love, is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I mean, look at that. My bronze of the Bronze and Glow is like about to, you know, go under. He's not looking very fresh, but I love him a lot. And I also love the golden highlight shade. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks now, as well as the foundation and the concealer, just so you guys can see what they look like on. The bronzer's really warm toned, and I find with my olive skin that goes really nicely. And then the highlighter's really golden. And again, I find golden highlighters are my favorites. They really like illuminate the skin. It has a really gorgeous big mirror, super fancy dancy packaging. Another Charlotte Tilbury product, and this is my only skincare product I'm putting in this video. This was Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Now I avoided this this magic cream for so long because I was like number one I don't even know if this is gonna work for me is it gonna break me out number two it's around 70 pounds for this pot and I was like that is insane prices for a cream first time I used this I was like oh snap I was like that is good stuff if you have dull lackluster dehydrated like just poopy skin like imagine like you've had no sleep you've 
been drinking alcohol and just doing all the bad stuff that makes your skin look crap this is like a reverse button in a pot it smells amazing which makes it a real pleasure to apply it is quite thick you do need to work it into the skin and the more you work it into the skin the more you see your skin glow it keeps foundation on really nicely it's a great primer definitely one of the few products i find that no matter how crap my skin looks and how dull and gray it looks this will give it life again for jewelry i wanted to choose a statement ring this ring i've had for a couple of years now i think i got it for my 20th birthday it's by Lay van cash it's her Olivia Rose ring. It is so, so beautiful. You guys, I can't even tell you how many compliments I get when I wear this. It's this beautiful rose and then it goes around your finger and then you have the little leaf on the other side. She has it in rose gold as well and I think silver, I'm not sure, but I will link it below. It's just a statement piece, but it's not too statement that you can only wear it at night. You could definitely get away with wearing this in the day. It's one of my favorite jewelry pieces. And like I said, I've had it for two years. It hasn't like bent or broken or whatever. And I still get so so excited every time I wear it. It's just like, makes you feel good. It's a really great statement piece. This fragrance definitely stood out to me the most as my like most luxury fragrance that I love and reach for the most. It's Giorgio Armani C. You can see I'm almost out of it, which makes me so, so sad. It's a really unique fragrance. It's quite powdery. It's quite sweet. It has a really punchy scent and it's one that you kind of end up recognizing like on other people. It's one of those ones that just doesn't leave your like scent memory. I find that the lasting power on this is the best lasting power out of all my fragrances. It definitely rivals my Serge du Teint and Bois Vanille fragrance in terms of like lasting power on you. It's not my everyday fragrance just because it's so so special. It's definitely like a fragrance when you want to feel like really sexy and powerful. I wanted to include a bag. You guys know I am a bag addict, okay? Like I have issues with bags. Even when I was younger, I just used to take like paper bags, just like empty shopping bags or I don't know, even like plastic bags and just like carry them all on my arm. My mom has this picture of me and I'm holding like four bags on each arm and they're not even filled with anything. So I am just bag obsessed guys. And I have been for as long as I can remember. But now I moved on from paper bags and this is my current favorite. It's my Celine, I think it's the mini nano luggage. I'll leave the details in the information box below. It is the tri-color one. I was kind of dilly-dallying between this one and another color, like just all one color. But I think this just makes much more of a statement and I love making a statement with my bags. I love like bags that stand out and I love the bright blue on the sides. You would be surprised how much you can fit in here, guys. Like, this is definitely the smallest kind of, like, day bag I own. And I was like, am I even gonna be able to use this? Because I carry around, like, everything with me. You can fit a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in here. I've done what's in my bag, so I'll link that video below if you want to know what I carry in here. You can carry it like this. You can kind of, like, carry it with the strap. It looks quite cool. Or you can just have it hanging over your shoulder. If you follow me on Instagram, which, by the way, is at Amelia Liana, you will have seen these boots pretty much in like every single outfit Instagram for the past like maybe eight months or so. They're from Stuart Wiseman. They're the Highland over the knee boots and I really wanted over the knee boots for a long time. These are the black suede ones. They do quite a few colors. I think they had blue, they had a cream color, they had a gray. Every kind of over the knee boot that I was looking at had a really kind of like statement heel and I wanted heels that I could wear in the day and I didn't want like too bold of a heel if that makes sense. I didn't really want a stiletto in an over the knee boot and I find that these heels are perfect because they're not too high they're not too high for me anyway most of my heels are really high because I'm quite short they're really really comfortable like I could seriously run in these boots they are so comfortable I love the suede I love the little string at the back I think that makes a little sexy twist to the boot I think these go with everything they go with dresses that you can wear them in the day you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with skirts like just absolutely everything I have been wearing these with I have another pair of Stuart Wiseman boots and I've had them for over six years and they're leather. I know these are suede so you kind of like limits wearing them that often like especially when it's raining and stuff but my leather ones that I have I've had for over six years oh my gosh guys they're still in amazing condition I still wear them all the time and I think they're amazing quality. I really wanted to put a candle in this video but then I was like there's one thing that's really stood out to me recently and it's kind of like scents up more than a candle does and it's this it's from Jo Malone it is the home fragrance diffuser and I have the scent lime basil and mandarin first of all it looks really beautiful I think it's such a like 
classic bottle. But in the room that this stays in, it's quite like a long rectangular room. And as soon as you walk into the room, even though I don't have any candles that match this scent, you can smell this. That's like the first thing you smell. It does such a good job of like scenting up a room that I think I prefer this over candles, even though there's like something really nice about lighting a candle and having candles around. But in terms of like scenting up a room, this definitely does the best job out of any candle I've ever tried. So that is everything. Those are my top 10 luxury favorites of the moment. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video like this more regularly or if there are any other videos you guys would like to see. Don't forget to check out Ray's video because I know she will have amazing recommendations and picks in her video. So I'll leave a link to that in the information box below as well as her channel link so please 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 guys go on over and subscribe to her because I love 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 her videos as well as her blog if you fancy a little bit more of me I will leave my social media links in the information box below I do post a lot of pictures and outfit pictures and stuff on Instagram so make sure you guys are following me on there I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video bye Print my Instagram pictures, they fit right in there. First world Insta addict problems. But I also got some of these frames. These are from X. A soul in sight up in here. As I was driving here on the way, there were so many 